Hare Krishna. As I was telling about how uh, the avagnya or upeksha or dvesh or matsarata uh, uh, are kind of envy. Uh, dvesha is actually hatred uh, and blasphemy. Uh, all these things uh, actually they become the cause of our development of um, aparadha. All these are aparadha. Eventually they lead to material attachments. So we were giving the example of Saubari money under the water, isn't it? She offended Garuda and uh, fell down from his position. So if one wants to go to the root cause of these bad uh, qualities, like, you know, why do you end up doing disrespect in the first place? One may have a question, isn't it? First you disrespect a Vaishnava, then you disregard the instructions of a Vaishnava, mm. then you develop hatred for a Vaishnava, then after that only you blaspheme the Vaishnava, isn't it? So, uh, why do we at all develop disrespect? If one wants to know, uh, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Sanatana Goswami, he said, Asat Sangatyag e Vaishnava Achar, Stri Sangi Ek Asadu, Krishna Abhakta Ar. Mahaprabhu says, the cause of uh, this kind of uh, aparadas arising in the mind is bad association, he says. Uh, what is that bad association? One should not approach the opposite sex with the enjoying mentality. Then one will become polluted by that association. Just like Ajamila went to the forest, he looked at that site with a impure outlook, then he fell down. Isn't it? He became degraded and he committed a lot of sinful activities subsequently. So, by one is the first thing, the bad association is association of the opposite sex with the mentality of enjoying Bhogavrati, he says. And, and then he says that uh, associating with materialists, asadhus, uh, those who are not sadhu. Sadhu means those who abide by the scriptures and those who are asadhus and those who are abhaktas. So, Srila Bhaktivana Thakur has explained six types of abhaktas or six types of materialists. And it's very important for us to know this because you come across this kind of people in the society and by associating with them, you develop impure uh, mind and that is how we commit aparadas. First he says, there are people who have no faith in God and no faith in morality. They are like two-legged animals. Like Krishna says, Namam Dushkutino Mudha. They are hard-working materialists. For them, money and woman are the goal of life. They have no other faith in anything else. Just make money and enjoy life. That's all. Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma yadindriya pritaya apranoti na sadhuman ye yatatmanoyam asanna piklesha da ashadeha. Like that, uh, Rishabh Dev says, Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma. These people become mad in sense enjoyment and they do vikarma, all grossly sinful activities, breaking all the regulative principles. Even if you have one of your friends who is the thickest friend who is in this category, you should cast him away. Huh? Like you see, Karana associated with Duryodhana and Duryodhana, even after hearing the saintly sermons of so many uh, visiting sages, Duryodhana did not reform because he was thoroughly materialist. Isn't it? And because of his association, Karana also got degraded, you will see. Therefore, those who have no faith in God or morality, one should keep away from such people. Secondly, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, some people have faith in morality, but no faith in God. He says, they say that morality is required so that there will be peace in this world and we all can take the resources and enjoy life peacefully. Mm -hmm. Let us be very moral. Prabhupada said the story of honesty of honesty among thieves. If some thieves loot a bank uh, and they want to divide the money, out of three of them, one of them has gone out. Other two want to other two think of sharing and enjoying and running away. That is dishonesty. But what kind of dishonesty is that? All the three are thieves, he said. So these people want to be moral, but they have no faith in God. So that type of uh, so-called morality is simply cheating. 
because you will find there are people who are not selfish who are very selfless they work very hard also they work for the social cause huh? philanthropic cause and so many things they think that all these resources should be equally divided and enjoyed huh? huh? but because they are not considering god at all it is like pouring ghee in ashes huh? actually ghee should be poured in the yagna kund which is the tongue of vishnu the flame in the yagna kund is tongue of vishnu in that you should pour the ghee but these people are pouring ghee in ashes or it is like rain pouring in the desert it is useless if the rain pours in a garden a mango sapling may grow and produce many mangoes similarly if you exert yourself rendering service to krishna's lotus feet and that service will awaken krishna prema in your heart but if you are going to exert yourself in so called philanthropic and social and such activities Uh, without reference to god not caring for god uh, you are an atheist then that kind of so called morality is useless mm-hmm. like there was one uh, organization which was working for the uh, you know helping people with surgeries mm-hmm. so they said see god made a defective body and we rectify it he was selling mm-hmm. so later on one devotee told him god didn't make the body defective you are defective in your vision whatever type of body god has given everybody is according to their karma only Uh, you, know, you think you are rectifying you may rectify the uh, disease in the body but they will have to die you can't save them from death but god can save a person from death because he can take them back to godhead so these uh, foolish moralists are proud of their social service because they are atheists also mm-hmm. they are materialists and thirdly he says there are people who have faith in morality and also faith in god but their faith in morality overpowers their faith in god out of the two which is more important for them morality is more important they will say the religion is very good because it keeps morals and law and order in this world and there are people like that they look like you know have people having faith in god but out of the two for them morality is more important they try to put god in the morality box like if you ask them like why somebody asked gandhi about uh la krishna So Krishna is dancing with gopis what do you say about that Gandhi said no 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 i worship only ram because ram fits in my morality box but then when people insisted him to answer he said if lord krishna danced with so many gopis and other people like he was so religious i can't accept him as god he said because he didn't come in guru parampara properly he didn't have vaishnava guru to explain so these people are more attached to morality than god so they are therefore they are also one type of materialist only their faith in god is also self serving faith just for which is serving their own material cause and then there are polytheists who worship different different type of gods they don't know who is god they go to different temples polytheists then there are nirvisheshvadis who are impersonalists who say that ultimately there is no form there is a nirakar and i am the nirakar god they say one fellow went to london from india and said I have not come here to tell all of you that I am God. I have come to tell you that you are all gods. So let us be happy. You also be happy. I am also happy. These are all bluffing people. And Prabhupada said, "What kind of God are you? You cannot control your bubbles. You cannot control your toothache. What kind of God are you?" Prabhupada thoroughly smashed these people. And these are the people who say Darudha Narayan Seva. Prabhupada said, "You cut the murgi Darudha Narayan." and you feed the poor narayan another one prabhu <laughs> said you cut one narayan after another narayan <laughs> crazy fellows the and prabhu said why do you say darid narayan you are daridra narayan is never daridra narayan is always having lakshmi at his feet how can he become daridra <laughs> so these foolish people don't know the difference between soul and god <laughs> they are nirvisheshvadis <laughs> they are also counted in this materialist category <laughs> and finally sixth one he says dharma dwajis dharma dwaji dwaja means janda dharma dwaji means these people will have chandan kumkum and pandit like vesh they will look like very religious people but their so called religious uh, appearance is only for money making and getting fanfare becoming famous in the public even the so called katha sandal they give it's all for increasing their following making more money they even charge 20 lakhs for one seven day katha 
they are money making people simply they are professional reciters they will they can make people cry they can make people laugh and they can get every 5 minutes hand clap from people and they have been uh, endowed with some vak chaturyam huh? and they will also wear chandan kumkum and they will look like a very religious person but in their heart they have not even an iota of devotion they simply think i am the center of this world and all people are increasing my popularity dharma dwaji means cheaters and they may also meddle with women they may meddle with money uh, they will uh, cheat the followers so this is dharma dwaji mm-hmm. so the six types of people are called six type of materialists bhaktuna thakur said they are very dangerous to associate with if you associate with these people then only you commit aparadhas uh, offenses come because the pure vaishnavas are on one side and these people are on the other side associating with these people will make you think that sri vaishnavas are not as popular as this dharma dwaji sri mai dharma dwaji has such a big following huh? and you vaishnavas are not so popular then we disrespect vaishnavas huh? and then dharma dwaji and then there are polities worshiping multiple gods dev- devatas you say see they are so broad minded you can worship anybody you like and these people say only krishna only krishna then that way you offend the vaishnavas when you associate with impersonalists you say hey, how nice impersonalists is saying i am also god he is saying he says the world is meant for you to enjoy huh? all are gods only but you guys are saying surrender to krishna krishna is the only god huh? so this is how we offend when you associate with these people huh? and in this way in the name of so called morality so called uh, no religiosity it's all cheating six type of materialists so one should avoid this so how do you avoid the association many of you may have a question when you are living in the world all around you these guys are there mm-hmm. how do you avoid the association bhakti nath akur has given a very simple formula he said traveling in the same boat or taking bath in the same ghat is not association he says you may go to a ghat where atheist is also bathing no problem you may travel in the same train or boat or you know bus so it is maybe sitting next to you that is not association when association happens when you open your heart with affection and trust for example you open your heart and ask him a query sincerely and then he plants atheism into your heart because you opened your heart and you had affection for him and you faithfully and honestly heard him you got cheated and that's what he says you should not do you should open your heart with affection only to vaishnavas and with other people be business like uh, keep away from them even if you smile at them shake hands for the official smile only huh? official handshake only they are useless to associate with not only useless they are dangerous to associate with want to keep up uh, even though you may work in the same office studying the same college or you may be living in the neighborhood house never associate huh? you you can be very formal and business like with those guys with vaishnavas don't be a cheater amongst vaishnavas sometimes you pretend to vaishnavas don't pretend open your heart uh, behave with affection and be willing to honestly listen to them then krishna prema will awaken mm-hmm. hari naam prabhu ki let's offer our humble obeisances and to all the vaishnava devotees of the lord who are just like desert trees or ocean of mercy full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls vaancha kalpatarubhyascha kripa sindubhyaye vacha patitanam pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namaha अनंतकोटि वैष्णव वृंद की वैष्णव ठाकुर शील प्रभुपाद की नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की